Hi guys, in today's video we are going to be taking a look at some really exciting news about four new perks coming to Cold War Zombies. Not only are we getting more perks added to the game, these are classic zombie perks guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Currently we have no official confirmation of the perk effects and whilst these are returning fan favourites, their effects might have changed. So last Friday a video was posted on YouTube by FireMonkey2 that included the jingles of every Cold War Zombie perk including its Dark Aether version. However, as well as the current perks in the game such as Elemental Pop and Deadshot, an additional four perk jingles were found in the files. The first one on this list is probably the one I am most excited about and that is PhD. So this was first introduced in the original Black Ops Zombies. Unfortunately, as zombies progressed, PhD was taken out, which of course for many fans was very disappointing and for so long we have awaited its return. Yes, you could get it in Black Ops 4 on the classic maps, but we haven't seen it in a new map for quite some time. Now for any of you who don't know what this perk does, firstly the biggest attraction of it is it makes you immune to any explosive damage, meaning anyone who loves the ray gun, it takes away any chance of you accidentally damaging yourself. It also makes typically useless weapons such as the grenade launcher much more effective and fun to use. The second ability is whenever the player dolphin dived, a feature that has since been replaced with a simple slide, it would create an explosion around the player causing damage to any zombie caught in the blast radius. If the perk stays in its original state, I imagine it will be reworked to activate when you slide, however the damage might get slightly nerfed as you are less vulnerable with the slide compared to the dolphin dive. Overall this is a welcomed return, although it's going to make the already super powerful ray gun even more powerful. Next up we have Mule Kick, another great perk from previous iterations of zombies. Unlike PhD, this one is very simple to explain. It allows you to carry three weapons instead of two. I don't think I quite realised just how useful this perk has been in the past until it was taken away from us. There's just something about wielding a ray gun, wonder weapon and a fully pack a punch weapon that makes you feel really powerful. I also think it gives you an extra slot to sort of test out new weapons, like you can equip your go-to loadout, but also have an extra slot to mix things up a bit. Perk number three is Double Tap. Again, another super useful perk that not only gives you increased fire rate, but also increased damage. This can be a very powerful perk to help you plow through the early rounds and also give you the edge to deal with mini bosses and get out of sticky situations. The final perk that has been leaked is Tombstone. Now this is a perk I'm actually surprised to see making a return, particularly because of how generous Cold War Zombies is if you die. Like if you die on round 17, for example, and your teammates make it through the wave, you respawn with like 15,000 points or something insane like that. However, I do feel like Tombstone is still a useful perk. Essentially how it works is that if you get downed and bleed out, a Tombstone power-up appears. When the player respawns, they have around 90 seconds to collect the power-up from where they died. If they do, they get all their perks except Tombstone and weapons back from their previous life. One thing to note about this perk though is that apparently the jingle only exists for the non-Dark Aether variant, so perhaps this could suggest the map we'll see Tombstone on might not include a Dark Aether section. Alternatively, they just haven't added the Dark Aether version yet. Overall, I cannot wait to see the potential return of these perks. I'm really glad Treyarch have decided to keep a lot of the classic perks we know and love, as initially I was concerned they would try to change zombies too much, but I'm glad I've been proven wrong. Finally, please be mindful that this is leaked news, so take it with a grain of salt. I'd say the evidence is quite strong, but you can never be 100% with these things. Anyway guys, that's about it. If you did enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you do want to help support this channel even further, feel free to check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description. But other than that, I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.